shout out to Maul and Rory. We've been hearing this going around everywhere. Kendrick Lamar, we heard he's gonna be performing at the Super Bowl. We was tight. I'm not even going. I'm not. We was tight. I'm speaking for all of us, bro. When, when we saw it, it wasn't gonna be Wayne in New Orleans. It's like, why? Don't let. Don't tell me this stupid beef really, really went that far to then I'll bring Jay Z into being petty because it makes no sense. Wayne was begging to be at the Super Bowl. Not even begging. He deserved to be at the Super Bowl. Not only did he deserve, he's a huge supporter of the NFL. That boy has been a Green Bay Packers fan for a very long time. He has made appearances on shows like ESPN and different things like that before. Has always held up the NFL so high. So why now? That's what I don't get. You get me? Why now? At something like this, this is when you decide to shit on. At the Super Bowl, this is the Grammys. If it was something else, I totally get it. Is it 2026 going to be at the San Francisco's Giants, uh, the San Francisco 49ers Stadium, or unless I'm tripping? But I thought 2026. You could have Kendrick there in the Bay Area. I'm sure they would have even enjoyed him more there. But Maul is speaking about Drake is how he feels. He spoke to Drake after Kendrick said that he's going to do the Super Bowl and how Drake feels. He also shared some information with us about maybe Kendrick wasn't the only one that was offered the Super Bowl before. Just somebody might have been busy and not been available to accept it. Do you guys believe Drake has turned down the Super Bowl? Not once. Not twice, but multiple times. Let me know down below. Please share your thoughts. We're on that way to 10,000 subscribers. As soon as we hit 10,000 subs, we will be doing a giveaway. We're going to give away one of our unboxings on this channel. When we unbox at 10,000, we're going to give it away. Sub up. Have you spoken to him since the uh, announcement? Uh, yeah. Have you spoken to him since the uh, announcement? Uh, yeah. Spoke briefly. The announcement is Kendrick doing the Kendrick Lamar. And I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. About the Super Bowl, or you guys were just like talking about week one. No, the Super Bowl. Week one. <laughs> <Of that event. laughs> no, bitch. Week one. No, it was it was about the uh, the announcement. You know, it was just regular shit. Laughed and he gave me his thoughts on how he felt about it and you know what he thought was was going on. But it was you know. Is that something you can share on Mike? What he said? Yeah. No, I would never. Do. Okay. But he's I not. I figured out. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of knew the answer. You know, it's just you, Rory. yeah. <laughs> a lot of it is just laughing, man. It's just like you know, like word, like this is what y'all want to see. Like yeah, all right, we do. I, obviously, people don't. <laughs> like, the whole internet is upset about it. <laughs> That's family? Or are you on the other side with OVO? Boycotting. Like it's, turn, turning off the TV when halftime comes. No, it's it's the reason why, because again, we Kendrick is one of the ones that eventually would have had a halftime. So now, the sticky part about all of this is Drake has been offered this Super Bowl show for some years now and has turned it down. Probably four years he's been offered to I don't perform know. at Super Bowl. Said no for whatever reason. Whatever reason. People took that clip as in Drake has denied the Super Bowl four times because he said four years. If I remember correctly, it was in 2020 Shakira and J-Lo. I believe they said that that year, 2020, 2021, they offered Drake the Super Bowl two years back to back as soon as Jay got into the scene. Now, is that true? We don't know. We even heard Elliot Wilson speak about it in another interview. I'll show a quick clip from that. I have an authority. My, my, multiple, my multiple sources have told me that Drake has indeed turned down the Super Bowl. He actually turned down the first two, the one in Miami <laughs> and the weekend one. That was the first two that Jay took over. Yeah. Got, okay. so, so Jay takes over. And again, his rival, whatever, Drake, like you talk about all these history and this back and forth. I mean, these guys are all rivals with each other. They've had their good times and bad times with each other. But business wise, Jay Z wanted Drake on that Super Bowl stage. And he turned it down twice. So now years later, when an opportunity is asked of Kendrick and Kendrick says, yes, just, 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 is Jay not playing fair there? Like, I'd like to, should Drake feel a way about it when he's known himself? He's had opportunity. To no, do that it, affects it. And he's turned it down. That changed twice. my opinion. Did you, did you ask why he would have turned it down? I don't know why, but he did turn it down. He was offered it twice. So uh, justice for all. Justice for Justice Maul. for Maul. But other people are saying that, that they've heard it from inside sources as well, that Drake denied already two Super Bowls. So what I think he meant from four, it wasn't four Super Bowls. I think he just meant probably maybe four years ago, and it's just him speaking on a podcast. It just came out wrong. But if so, it's lining up with what we heard from Elliot Wilson as well. And Elliot Wilson isn't the biggest fan of Drake after the interview. I mean, Drake has dissed him a handful of times. Would Elliot Wilson be somebody to defend Drake if it was a lie? I don't think. Just didn't. Did he tell you that or is that like a known thing? I didn't know that. I've never heard that either. What? That who? Drake. Oh, yeah. Said no. Well, he has. Drake has turned down the Super Bowl a few years. Why do you think he's turned it down? Because that's really um, I don't interesting know. to me. I don't know why he would turn it down. I mean, you know, that's up to the artist, you know, their discretion. Maybe I'm on the road right now. I don't want to, like, you know... <clears throat> Whatever reason, want to be able to give it the proper whatever time. reason it may be, it may be a, a conflict. That when you talk about artists that are that big, it could be a conflict of interest somewhere. Remember, you don't get paid for the Super Bowl. Can you guys think that's maybe that's one thing? You don't get paid for the Super Bowl. Drake was maybe getting ready for a tour, maybe coming off a tour, or maybe just not available at the time because recording an album. Drake has been giving us music like every single year, so it could have that been it. It could have been the music. Could have been maybe 2020. It was just COVID was going on. He's from Canada. I don't know if he was staying here or staying there at the time. Maybe he was in Calabasas. I don't know. But there has to be a reason on why Drake turned it down. I believe it was the J-Lo and Shakira year he turned down. And then the other one was the year that they got the weekend. Which the weekend one I actually liked a lot. But those two years are allegedly, allegedly the ones that Drake turned down. Do you guys think it's true? Or is Drake just being that kid that you know is like, nah, they offered me that. But I didn't want it like just to shit on Kendrick's moment. What do you guys think?
Drake was offered the Super Bowl twice. Wow. Drake did turn down the Super Bowl twice. And I'm sure if Drake would have said yes, he would have brought Lil Wayne out at some point, right? He probably would have brought out Nicki, which is probably why she's upset, because she's not on stage. But Drake turned it down twice. So it is like this, the NFL, somebody spoke to, no. He turned it down twice, which is fine. He didn't want to do it. But nobody's going to say, damn, why'd you turn it down? You could have got Lil Wayne on, mm -hmm. right? Nobody's going to connect that dot. The other thing is that no one seems to think about is why isn't Jay-Z picking himself? Like, he's not even being selfish about it for himself. Why isn't somebody saying, man, you know what? He's actually making a decision based off of what he thinks the best performance is at the right time, music, et cetera, because he's not even using this moment for, to, to satisfy himself. He has catalog. He can rock. Yeah. He's nice. He's not even choosing himself. To me, that should be celebrated, that he's not being selfish and he's helping these artists and giving them what they deserve and not being selfish about it and choosing only, you know, Rock Nation acts on himself. Because if, if it was just that, I could understand it. But for it to come down like this is just, to me, shit is corny. And it makes, it makes the hip hop community, the black community, it leads us. Do you think there's any truth to it? I can see, I can see them asking Drake. Maybe they, maybe Drake wasn't the final ask. Maybe it was like, yo, would you be interested in it? Drake's like, ah, maybe not this year. I got too much stuff going on. And hey, they went on to the next show. You get me? It wasn't like they planned everything around him and they were like, yo, please, and gave him a final pitch. That, I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. Let me know down below though how you feel. All I know is that I didn't want Drake at the Super Bowl either this year. I wanted Wayne. I wanted Lil Wayne at the Super Bowl. That's who I wanted. But I guess we'll have to continue waiting. People keep telling me, yo, Wayne was Wayne might be a special guest to Kendrick. I'll slap fire out of you. Kendrick should have been a special guest to Wayne. No, I wanted Wayne to have the show. Nigga, special guests get three bars off. You already got to remember the whole thing's in like 15 minutes. So they're like running from scene to scene, song to song. We're going to see 30 niggas crip walking to not like us. Probably DeMar DeRozan again and Russell Westbrook. Like, get them niggas off the stage, bro. Oh, my God. Sub up, sub up. Comment down below. Please share your thoughts about everything going on, man. At 10,000, we're doing a giveaway, man. Sub up, sub up. Up, sub up.